Hello, welcome to the Vintage and Classic Metalwork channel and on this video I'm going to show you how to make this very simple metal folder. I've used nothing more than a bit of scrap laying around my workshop and some very basic hand tools and uh, I think I've created a very handy little tool to go in your workshop. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut two sections of this angle that I've got. I'm going to cut them at 350 uh, mil, and that will give me enough excess to uh, put my fixings on and should give me a 300 mil uh, bending surface. Okay, now I need to cut two 50mm sections on here, and that's going to sit either end of one of these pieces. This is a 30mm wide and 10mm thick piece of steel that I've uh, got laying around the workshop, so this is going to come in handy, as that will be welded to there, and then I'm going to put a fix in through there, which is going to help with my pivot point. Okay, so the next bit I'm going to do is uh, cut this to size. This is going to be your main face, which is going to do the bending. So once your sheet is clamped there, you are literally going to push down and then that's going to fold your metal. So a very important piece. Uh, this is 40 mil wide, 10 mil thick. So all I'll have to do is attach a handle to the end of it. But yeah, I'll mark that uh, in between there and cut that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just clean up all the faces and get it ready so I can line it up and drill it so it all pivots nicely and everything like that. And then also I've got to weld these on. So only a small bit of welding, but make sure the area is clean and everything like that. All right, I'll crack on with that bit now. Okay, so now I've just cleaned up the faces on there with the grinder and taken all the marks and splatter and everything that else was on the metal. I thought, actually, take it to the next stage, I'm going to DA the faces on there because when you clamp this up in the vise and fold it over, whatever is on the face of the metal is then going to be uh, transferred onto the, the piece that you're bending. So I'm going to take it to the next stage, use the DA, probably like a... Uh, like an 80 grit and then probably 120 uh, and just clean them the surfaces up a bit better and then hopefully it'll be a nicer finish at the end. Okay my next stage is to drill and tap the, the hole in the, this plate here so it's going to come up there Mark halfway, and I'm going to tap that M8. And then what this is going to do is just keep the two plates aligned. So I want that surface to be completely flat uh, when I put it into the the vise. So this way, it's consistently the same every time. Okay, so the next bit I'm going to do is uh, drill a hole, so that's 5mm in and 5mm up from the bottom there, and that's going to be my centre point, uh, and I'm going to tap this plate here, and then that's going to be my pivot point there. So in theory, once we've got a, a bit of metal in there, we'll then be able to create a 90 degree bend.
Okay, and just so I uh, can line it up, I've just put this bar in there. I'm just gonna leave a witness mark on the back, as you can see there, and then I'm gonna drill that out. Okay, I'm just going to put a handle. I am just going to opt for the one single handle in the middle. I don't think there's going to be a huge load that we're going to have to um, move. Probably the maximum capability of this uh, machine is probably going to be like 1.2, maybe 1.5 at a push. But most bodywork still is 0.9, so I'm just going to go for the um, one handle in the middle, and I think that'll give me enough leverage to do most of the things I need. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just weld the handle on. I found my centre point, and uh, I'm literally just going to make that on now. Went into my shoe. Easy as that. Okay, you're gonna try it on a little bit of aluminium now. This is 1.5. Very nice. Uh, okay, we've made it to the end of the video. I'm very happy with uh, the results so far of uh, the little folder. Can't ask for much. Literally, we just used uh, the scrap laying around the workshop. Now, I have seen videos where people have made more complex ones and they do work really well but I literally try to keep this as basic as possible for the novice out there. Um, so yeah, very happy with the result and uh, I'm looking to do more videos on making sort of vice mounted tools to help the person at home in their garage and that. so I've got a few ideas of some more stuff I'd like to make in the show. So yeah, look forward to making that. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, it'll be a great boost to us. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Ciao.